And in News 3, follow up now. We first told you about Chatham County's plan to create its own fire department beginning next month. Now we have input from the private company Chatham Emergency Services that has been in charge of fire service in the county for the last several years. We asked them how they plan to handle the transition. The service on the street to the public should be seamless and should be immediate. The way we're structuring this deal is we're going to sell all the fire apparatus needed and all the supplies and equipment so that, you know, the county doesn't have to go out and buy a thing, right? They're getting it all from us. And then we're going to lease them all the fire stations for a dollar a year. Kearns tells News 3 that with Chatham County experiencing so much growth, it makes sense for them to run their own fire department. However, he says Chatham Emergency Services will still provide service in Garden City and Verningburg. He says Chatham EMS, the EMS branch of the company, will still provide EMS service to all of the county, but on the controversial fire fee, something the county says they might do away with and incorporate as a tax under the new fire department, Kearns had to say this. We told the county that people don't want to pay, and some folks were having a hard time believing that to be true. But at the end of the day, when the county took over billing and then had to take over 8,500 people to court to make them pay, we kind of felt vindicated that you know, we were telling you the truth all along. It is not confirmed whether the county will convert the fire fee to a tax or continue to collect it as a fee. The county chairman telling News 3 they are still working out those details.